Hey all, Board Game Rants here. We'll find everything solo, tabletop gaming, and more. We've got a little unboxing here of Underwater Cities. I have, uh, again, already opened it up, already checked out the manual. I've gone through some reviews and stuff, so I kind of know what's in there, but I haven't officially opened it all. So let's get at it. All right, there is the box open. Here is the manual. Here is... And the manual is good. This is a, this is, I've gone through it. Uh, it's good looking. And I like the way it's laid out and good examples. And uh, if you have played Terraforming Mars, there's going to be a lot of similarities here. You're going to, you're going to sense um, and, and be able to pick up on here. That'll, that'll uh, a little bit feel familiar. I have read and seen Reviews, people saying that this is the game that Terraforming Mars wanted to be, which is a bold statement, wouldn't you say? I have everything Terraforming Mars, except for maybe one expansion or so, and I just never quite got into it solo-wise, so I'm, I'm just curious if this is going to take me there, so to speak. So these are little cities that you're going to put out on your boards as you build your underwater cities. You've got uh, these ones which will score your points, these ones which don't. Um, we've got, okay, extra baggy, more extra baggy. We've got pieces, uh, player pieces of some sorts there. And, mm -hmm. okay, we got our buildings. There's different buildings here you can build. They're going to produce food, they'll produce science, they're going to produce money. Um, if you just have one little, little disc out then then it's a normal building if you have two discs out it's going to be an upgraded building and do more for you here's a stack of the cards coming up we've got um you've got different eras three different eras in this game which i think is a is one thing that kind of drives me crazy about terraforming mars is you get this monstrous stack of like 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 four times this maybe more of cards that don't have that some come out early in the game that you can't possibly afford and others that you can possibly afford but this one has eras which i like better because then you've got your cheaper cards that come out earlier in the game and then you've got your more expensive cards that come out later in the game and this looks like it's probably more of the same i am guessing so, or maybe this is the era cards, and these are, uh, they're special cards that you can buy as well. And so maybe that's what these are. And these are the era cards, because I can see that says, uh, probably era two is what I'm guessing. And then we got, we got, oh, more plastic bags, more empty bags, more stuff to throw stuff and store stuff in. And then we've got, got this. Okay. I think this is the first sign of our player boards and super easy to open with one hand. I'm going to betcha. There we go. Got this. Yeah. Got none of that. Let's take a look at one. I think these are double sided. I think we've got, well, there. Now we've got a, uh, I think there's like a basic board and on the other side is a more bit or maybe this is the basic board this looks more basic-y um this looks less basic-y because it's got as you put down your cities you're getting and, and put down tunnels to connect your cities and spread out across uh the ocean floor you're going to get little bonuses if you go certain ways and i think all of these have their own different little bonuses there which is pretty slick and then you've got uh these little cheat sheets that uh, tell you what, you know, how to make what and what produces what. There's going to be th three production phases, I think, after the end of each era. And at the end of the final era, you determine the winner based on the number of stuff and things. So these are, uh, everybody gets one of these to help them understand what does what, what costs what, what produces what. Is that. Okay, now we're into the punch board. Mm. We got... All right, we got our tunnels there. We got multiplier things for our different kelp. And I forget what that is. Science, I'm not sure. Or steel plast, maybe that's what that is. There's there's that uh, steel plast um, as a resource. 
got these little tokens that are going to tell you. So it's like a, a worker placement. You, you, you're going to be able to put stuff out on the board, which is coming up. Here's the board. Just take a look at that. Throw this over Ugh. here. Let's throw this up there and slide this like so. Let's get a look at the board. And come on, baby. Okay, gotcha. There's that. Ooh. A little stretch. Oop. Okay. And it's got two sides as well. So you've got yourself a one and two player side. I believe that denotes that. On the other side is three to four players. Mm -hmm. Yep. Three to four player side. And you got this area where there's going to be some special cards that you can and basically pick up. Here is a little expansion spot for if you're playing more than, than uh, one player. And here's uh, going to keep track of turn order and around the edges. I guess your, your stronger actions are up here. The orange actions and your weaker actions are down here. These green actions, these red ones are about so-so strength. You've got your victory point track that's going to keep track of everything. And then over here, this is going to keep track of what era you're in and when you do a production phase. And then when the game's over, so there's basically 10 rounds. And each round, you're going to be able to take three actions. So it's pretty set in the number of actions you're going to be able to take. And on the other side, ugh, <clears throat> uh, slightly different variations of actions. But all the same, you'll just take your, uh, you know, let's say you're orange and you want to take one of these actions. You're going to put your little marker there. No one for that round anyway can take that action. And and then the colors matter, green, red, and orange. Because depending on the cards you have in your hand, you will be able to play a green card out of your hand if you take a green action. You will be able to take a orange You'll be able to play an orange card out of your hand if you take an orange action. You always have to discard a card, but if you happen to use the same color card as the action you're taking, you can take the action or use that card, basically. So that's kind of a, a general mechanic of this game. And, okay, let's see here. So we got those, and we have, uh, looks like we got money and 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 basically th three worth of steel plast or biomass i think is what it's called you got your tunnels here that are going to be connecting uh different spots on your board it's going to look pretty slick once you've got everything lined up you can upgrade your tunnels to score your more points you can kind of upgrade everything and then what do we got here more goodies lots more different the resources you'll produce science and then here we've got uh, these guys. These, uh, these are going to be fun. These are going to go out and uh, kind of randomly on your board to be able to give you more bonuses if you can if you build your city. I think we all start here, and then you kind of work your way out. And if you can link up to these mega metropolises or whatever these things are, you're going to get extra bonuses and and whatnot. Maybe this one goes there, and and then uh, these all represent their different things. So. There you have it. There's a quick rundown of what we got in Underwater Cities. I'm Board Game Rant. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Oh, you meant the world to me.